Today, I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom basically to ride some rides, eat some food, and look at some animals. So, let's go do this. And right off the bat, we get a fancy kangaroo. Look at how fancy he's sitting. He's got his arms crossed. <laughs> That's a fancy kangaroo. Trying to decide in the order of things that I actually want to do today. I know that I want to ride Expedition Everest. It's been a while. It's one of my favorite rides. I have a fast pass. Why not? But then I got to figure out where I'm going to get something to eat. I'm probably leaning towards the Harambe Market only because I want to go on the pathways to see some of the animals, like definitely Komodo dragons and tigers. So I guess uh, Expedition Everest first. And if we're going to do Expedition Everest first, we actually have to go over to Asia. Right now we're more towards Pandora, but I knew a little shortcut right here at the Discovery Island Trail that a lot of people don't usually take. You can actually cut right through here and go alongside the Tree of Life to actually get from one side to the other. And actually it is full of a lot of amazing sights and some good views of the Tree of Life as well. Isn't it much prettier this way? I mean, it's still prettier. I mean, basically, instead of walking that way, we're walking straight through. But wow, look at that. Gorgeous views, isn't it? Sometimes you just gotta stop and listen to the water. Oh yeah. And you get to go through a cave. And boom, we're in Asia. Look at that. And there she is. So let's go get that Yeti. All right, we are in line and it's a little backed up. Standby is only at 35 minutes, but look at all those single riders. You need to respect the power of the Yeti. Up and here comes our train. Thank you. Lost the hat. Woo. Woo. Ah. Oh, 
love it. Seriously, one of the rides at Disney that can really rejuvenate your energy when you're out in the parks. Like I was feeling a little like, oh, I'm a little tired and sluggish and I thought about getting a coffee. Once I got off that bad boy, I need to get a beer. <laughs> and I might as well head on down to the Thirsty River Bar. <laughs> Not only does the Thirsty River Bar have Simba popcorn buckets, but they also have Simba pretzels. Look at that. Now we're going to try to find ourselves some dragons, and I think we're going to go this back way here. I'm liking the back paths today. This is more over by Cali River Rapids, but I like it back here. Look at this. It's quiet. Nobody's around. Hmm, my kind of path. And before we get over there, I want to play with my favorite little thing here. Look at this. I love this fountain. Ooh, I'm going to stick my hand in it. You ready? Hoop, ha, hoop, ha, hoop, ha. <laughs> they actually have a list of rules over here. The interactive water feature rules. No food or beverages on wet deck. So I'm going to have to excuse myself. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was an actual feature. Oh, I guess it is. Look at that. <laughs> and this is where I wanted to end up. Monkeys, tigers, and dragons. If you ever want to come back here and look at some of the monkeys, tigers, and dragons, you want to get early because they shut it down at 5. They shut it down. This is where the kimono dragons are. And sometimes you just got to sit and wait. I mean, I see one that's sitting down on that rock over there, but it's not really a great view. Let's just see if something happens. And he's just hanging out there, sunbathing a little bit. I always find them fascinating. You don't normally see them in zoos and stuff like that, so when I first seen the kimono dragon here at Disney, I kind of thought it was special. I mean, it is special. Oh, and I totally forgot. You get to go in the back cave over here. Huh. I forgot about this little hidden gem. Look at those bats! <laughs> We're gonna check them out right through here. Do you guys see the bats up there? I see one right here. But the crazy thing is, there's no screen here. That's literally just right there. That's crazy, huh? They're just hanging out sleeping. That is absolutely crazy. I wish they would like fly by though, that'd be awesome. Making our way out of the back cave up to look at the tigers, if they're out, I don't know. Oh wow, they are. Look at, hey. I'm gonna go over on the other side to see if I can get a better look at them. Oh yeah, I think I can, maybe I can. I do want to point out though that this little tiger area over here is actually very beautiful. <laughs> Looks like we have a lot of people flocking over here, so you know what that means. We got a good view maybe. Oh. Oh. See ya. I think that is so awesome that tigers have little underground passageways to different areas over here. I'm going to try to find out where that tunnel actually took our friend, our tiger. <laughs> they told me it takes them over here, but I don't see them. Huh. Well, that was really nice. Never got to see the tiger again. He didn't come back out of that hole. A lot of people don't. But right outside the jungle trek, they have a cold beer stand. And I noticed something a little funny here because on the side, they have these like very cool looking beer spouts, but I don't think they work. They don't work, they're fake, right? They're fake. I like it though. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. And now that I actually finished my beer and I can be in this area, there is something I want to do. That felt good. Lots of chlorine in that one. Whew, I can smell it. 
Let's make our way to the Harambe market to see what good eats they got going on over there. I'm a little hungry, so I'm excited. And Harambe market, we have made it. They have a meat shop. That's kind of like getting the meat sweats from the meat shop by Chef Mwangwa. Here's a look at the menu. We got ribs bowl, chicken bowl, vegetable bowl, chicken gyro, beef gyro, lamb gyro, pork sausage, and of course for dessert, the most beautiful cake. I've had this before and it is delicious, so I think I might get it again. What I decided on getting was the pork sausage, which is a fried sausage served on some naan bread or nana bread with some curry, ketchup, and onion relish. But I swapped out the coleslaw for the cilantro lime rice. And of course, the most beautiful cake. Ah, oh, look at that. Everything's looking so fancy. I decided not to get the relish on the sausage. Not a big fan of relish. Now it kind of looks just plain. But look at that, the most beautiful cake and some of that cilantro lime rice I've been hearing all about. A part of me just wants to eat the cake first, but I don't know how the aftertaste is gonna be. Ah, decisions, ah. I'm going cake first. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had to make sure I got those coconut crisps on there. Oh, this is so good. I love it. Oh. Oh, what a joy. Oh, I love it so much. One thing I would totally do though, ask for extra coconut crispies because that really makes it amazing. Oh yeah, that's where the good stuff is. Now we're gonna get to our little sausage here, but what I plan on doing is making a little sausage and rice sandwich. I'll put a little bit there, a little bit there. Oh yes, just pile it on, pile it on. That's how I like it, very good. Then we're gonna wrap it up just like that and pretend like it's an airplane Ooh. that's good sausage but i'm a little disappointed in the knob bread because it's really hard like it's like crispy look at that i thought they were like soft i don't know regardless so i'm still gonna eat it and enjoy it it's still a really good meal I think it needs a little bit more rice though. Oh yeah, oh, 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 there you go. And that hit the spot. Really tough eating that when I poured all the rice on it. Kind of made a big mess, but you live and learn. But in all honesty, the food was pretty good at the Rambe Market. I really like the cilantro lime rice. I wish the naan bread was a little bit softer, but the sausage, the sausage was on point. And let's not forget about the most beautiful cake. It was delicious. So let's keep moving and uh, maybe we'll spot some otters on the way out. Huh? Right here down in the Otto Grotto. I'm excited. I like these little guys. Hopefully we get a good look. I'm not seeing nothing. They must be Otter Town. <laughs> I've been doing real good with seeing all the animals that I wanted to see today until I got to the otter grotto. Maybe I just ran out of luck. Otters are cool, but maybe we get a chance to look at the lesser known flamingos. <laughs> I love the way they walk. I love their little feet. Look at that. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Look at their feet. <laughs> Doing a real good job with those puns today. <laughs> and with that, I think I am done here today. I did everything I wanted to do. I rode Expedition Everest, ate some amazing food, and got to look at some awesome animals. And uh, now I'm heading home. So live the life you live. What's up? Steve's World! All things fun! <laughs> See ya!